Shiva 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 Shambho Shiva 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 Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Okay, let me let him catch up because he's saying that in these days, sitting in satsang, he's finding that somehow there is just this feeling of amnes, just to be. There is just this feeling is there. But sometimes, when he finds that I'm speaking directly about something, he feels a kind of fire inside, you know, like a fire. And then maybe it arises inside, I can speed this up. Maybe I can give more power. I want more power to this. I want, yeah? To this. It's not like um, on my identity. It's really... Actually, it's new for me because it's not like a person trying. It's like um, somehow I feel some something primal. Maybe I can... Um, so he's using this word now. He said, so sometimes actually I'm feeling like, I don't know what it is, but something primal. It's not like it's a person who wants to do something. But it's like some primal urges arise inside. No? Mm. And now he's asking, should I, should I just stay with this or not? Well, I want to say a little bit about what that is. Because you are sitting in satsang, and in that, uh, it's okay, it's okay, in that energy field, in that energy field, you are naturally, it's like we are all in the water together water and this warm water together of understanding there's a sort of like a sh there is like a, a permeating but vibration of peace and stillness and openness sometimes the mind is chattering a little bit but somehow there's a bigger space of uh, silence and we're in that but he mentions that actually there is now sometimes a very strong like a primal fire inside wants to know what to do about this. What is this thing? Can I actually do something? Can I? Can I? So, who, who is I? Who is I? Can I do something? He says, no, it's not, it's not really a person, but there's a feeling like... I want to tell you what this feeling is, because in my own case, when that feeling was growing inside, I walked out of my life. You understand? Because nothing I have done, and my life has been a colorful life. You understand? I wasn't brought up in a convent, or oh, no, convent is for girls, no, what is it? I haven't been brought up in some little boarding school, nothing. No, I've lived a very colorful life. Nothing in life has had that impact internally for me. When I knew, when I felt this, it wasn't a question, I wonder what this is. Is this God or is my mind is playing? None of these nonsense. But I knew that my life, as it was, was finished. I didn't know it. I just, something knows this. I don't know what knows. Something knows this. That this alone is like you're kissed from inside. And I know it's finished. I can't go back. I know maybe forward, yes, but I can't. There's nothing to go back. My life is nothing at all. Even to say, I give you my life. What's it worth, actually, from a human standpoint? <coughs> it was just, I, I just was just, my doors are so open, they're not called doors anymore. You understand? <laughs> I don't know, just. And take me, whatever I am. So in this kind of attitude, it's like you are the ego was not finished. The ego was not finished at this point or like that. You understand? But it was severely severely disabled. You understand? <laughs> and he will still sprout a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes, every time he came up, he had, a, he had, 
something hit. Not I. Life hit him. <coughs> Sometimes you're still a bit confused. If you are, if there's a you and the ego, because you are still somehow like ego. So, what is that? Can your ego be blessed? I can say like that. I say the ego can evolve from a tamasic or rajasic state to a very sattvic state. Because the ego also, we say jiva is Shiva. But it is Shiva with a complex, isn't it? And this jiva is journeying back, melting down, merging with the greater self, or something like that. This, you can put it in different ways, but it amounts to the same thing. And this is what uh, each day you meet somehow your ego self come up. And each day something deeper takes place. And there is this going on. But the overall look of the game, you're doing very well. Yeah? Sometimes ego is still there, but you're doing very well because you're living with a, an attitude of yes to the Supreme. But the ego is still breathing, still has something to say. So that grace brought me to India. Brought me to Rishikesh. Brought me to Lucknow. Brought me to Punjaji. It's not always whack on the head, boom, you're Buddha. No, you cannot, you cannot stand Buddha immediately. You cannot stand the Buddha. There's still too much buddhi in you. Immediately, well, no, if this happens, it means that your inner environment was already so sattvic, then it could bear the presence of Buddha. But otherwise, it's a slow departure. You see? You have to give notice to the ego. You got six months. You understand? Some, something. Not even you do it. Life is doing it. Because he slowly, and he packs slowly as well. As well. And he complains. But something is on the, on the way. And the life is so wise, it knows how much that expression of consciousness can bear in being purged of the, the sleep state. Everything is fine. Shiva, 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 Shambho Shiva, 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 Shambho Shiva, 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 Shambho Shiva, 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 Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho Mahadeva Shambho